Good afternoon, my name is Kyle. I am the service technician with Metal Finish and I'm going to process these parts for you. These parts, as you know, heavily covered and dross on the edges, on the inner, in, inner contours and outer contours. I don't know if uh, Dan spoke to whomever, but these definitely can be cut better. Um, but we're going to still process them. Okay. And the first step is we got to set up the machine. The material thickness is right around 2.8 millimeter. It's kind of hard to get an accurate measurement with this uh, heavy dross, but we're going to do our best. So we put the part on the machine. Material thickness 2.8. Now we come inside the machine and we're, now we got to adjust the, the head. On here we have 60 grit paper on the head. Over here we have 60 grit sanding blocks for the rounded edges. So to adjust, we're gonna move the part underneath. All right, so what we want is on this paper, a pretty good drag. Not so tight where you can't move it, but good drag. So that's pretty good. So it's already set up. Now we go ahead and process. All right, here we have the operator panel. You see, we got the buttons for the grinding head, the buttons for the cross belt section and the conveyor. Each all have their own potentiometer for speed adjustment their own on off buttons. And then you notice this has a amperage meter. This just lets you know um, if you're grinding too hard. Obviously that motor, that amperage is gonna be pretty high if you're grinding way too hard, which is not uncommon if the operator isn't trained. Um, I went and set up this first piece. This was one of these guys right here. This is one pass. This has no edge rounding on it just so you guys can see what it looks like on first pass. But now I'm gonna run one through for you. Now this one, all kinds of draws. So what we're gonna do, start the machine. Start the conveyor, sorry about the squeak, I've gotta tighten the belt. Gonna run through the machine. You hear the grinding. Obviously, you can play with the speed a little bit um, to fit your production needs or quality needs or whatever comes your way. But um, this is what I found works right off the rip. And as you see, we got a lot of grinding dust. This is mainly belt media. And we got our one pass, okay? Now the setup is gonna be pretty much the same on all the parts, all right? Now you've seen we set up the, the grinding head now. We are going to set up the cross belts. And like I said, this red light is for service mode, so I can open up the door freely. Um, it's not the safest thing to do, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now to set up this, we're gonna have to find a good measurement, real easy way to set up this machine, set a good pressure that you want. So about one millimeters is good good pressure and then what we want to do is lower the brushes into the conveyor until you hear a light whistling that means the belts are engaging with the conveyor at one millimeter and then we go back to our material thickness of 2.6 i believe okay so i and when you do this you're going to want to turn the conveyor on first just so we're running Okay, now we're going to turn the cross belts on. And this, bring down till you hear a whistling. 
sorry about that. And now we go back to here. And now we have our pressure set for this. Now when you're running, we're gonna run this part with the grant with the direction of the cross belts, and then we're gonna run to this part against the grain. It's gonna leave like a uh, not a shiny finish, but a, like more of a dull finish. Okay, so this one run right through. And a side note for the adjustment of the head. If you're going to run parts just with the cross belt section, you may want to lift up the grinding head a little bit just so you're not scratching the parts on the way in to the cross belt section. And that's only for when you're uh, not using it. As you see, this part came out nice and dull, but soft edge. You can see the edge. Probably you can go a little bit longer in there. But I'm gonna leave this as a first try. But all the edges are smooth. There's not a sharp edge on here at all. Okay, and now I'm going to process this part with the cross belt grain, but I'm gonna slow down the conveyor just a little bit. And then I kind of use the machine as a straight edge if you want to make it good. All right, let that go through. Now when you slow down the conveyor, you're letting the part stay underneath the cross belts a little bit longer. So you're gonna get more chance to, uh, uh, to soften it up, soften up the edges for you. Um, you don't really, with thin parts, less than three millimeters, you don't really want to just lower the cross belts and mash, mash it into the conveyor because your consumable rate is just gonna go through the roof. So we're just doing it the most economical way right now. As you see, it takes a little bit of time. And here we got a part of this a very very shiny part you see it's a little bit got a little more luster to it that's because we're with with the cross belt section and the grain is is with the cross belt section direction and made a beautiful part and you can't you can't do this at the same time make this finish at the same time because you can't turn the part inside the machine. So if you want this style of finish, it's gonna be a multi-pass. But multi-pass at the speed which, in which this machine can move is unparalleled, okay? All right, right here, this part is right, again, right around 2.83 millimeters, but it's hard to tell exactly the thickness. And you know, we set up the machines, we did one individual section at a time before. Now we're going to do them both at, at once. And with this machine, you want to use the whole conveyor, you use just one side, you're going to wear out that grinding belt. And if you wear out one side on the grinding belt, it could be give it an imbalance and make it hard to run on the uh on the head, so you want to make sure you spread those parts around. Now that part was in there a little bit long, so it could be a little bit hot. Uh, I forgot to speed it up a little bit. When you use both sections at the same time, you just got to keep you keep in mind temperature as well as speed. Pretty hot, not gonna lie. So I could have gone a little bit faster 
but that is a beautiful part. One shot. You see it's that dullish finish. That's because it's hot. It's not heavy, I promise. It's a duller finish because you're uh, giving it a cross edge, essentially. Um, that's a very nice part. And if you notice, the edge it won't zoom in, apparently. And if you see it, a little concave to the head, entry of the part. Now, with this part, the, with these parts going through the grinding head, obviously it's a round contact roller on the bottom and you're touching a flat surface. So there's gonna be some rounded roundness coming out of the front edge of the parts, but it's nothing nothing too noticeable and that can be it can be uh, resolved pretty quickly with some uh, edge rounding. Here we have a bear, we're running right through. Now, one thing I wanna mention, small parts less than two inches have a really tough time through the uh, crossbell section. Um, so we may need to run two passes with this little guy. Um, but I think we can get it one pass, so we're gonna give it a shot. I sped up the conveyor, so the edge rounding might not be as, as perfect, but we'll see. Here, a metal sound, a metallic sound, that's the part getting uh, lost in the side of the machine. That sometimes can occur when the part's too small or there's too much pressure or some other reasons, but this one actually came out pretty good. But you see, the speed of the conveyor, I don't get enough edge rounding. There's not a lot. It's still soft. But there's not a lot of edge rounding on there, okay? But, this is one pass. Okay, now I'm going to run these two parts. These two parts, you know, you see a lot of that dross on the side. Alright, I set the machine up for medium pressure. Now I'm going to start the start the drum. I'm going to slow down the conveyor since we're not just doing one pass, or I mean just the cross belts. So this time I'm going to run two on the very edge. Running through with the crossbow section on, you also gotta keep in mind you gotta be at a certain speed so that you can get some edge rounding. If you're going too fast, you're just really not doing anything. You need time under the crossbow. But if you do finish, happen to finish it. All right, I had to stop the machine. One part got lost in the machine. It must have slipped. So that means either it don't have enough pressure or the bell just slick in that spot. But still a pretty good part. This one is the one that ran all the way through, no problem. Really nice part. Now what had happened was sometimes when you get a lot of pressure or it's not set up perfectly right and you see my pressure rollers are a little, a little dusty. There's no dust collector on here so um, stuff gets pretty slick if there's no uh, ventilation in here. But the parts get dropped in here. There's a little grate down there so none of the parts get lost. They just shimmy to the side and 
Um, when you're done running, you have to take it out or stop the machine right away because if that builds up or if this part stands up, you could possibly get it stuck and hit one of these and cause some damage to the block. But that's what happened. But the part still came out really nice. As you see, this is one pass. Oh, that's the back side. That would help. Still a very nice part. All right, I'm gonna run this part through. This is a setup part that didn't get finished correctly, obviously. So we're running it pretty quick. same parts are coming out pretty good this is gonna be hard to edge around anyway because it's pretty small just under two inches here's a shark don't got a really really sharp edge it's pretty it's kind of broken but it's not fully done so we're gonna give these a little time under the cross belts on their own we're gonna run those after now we're just gonna set these this one up and slow down this the drum a little bit Slow down and glare a little bit. See what it does. I might go a little, a little more down on this. A little more pressure. We hear a metallic sound. It's getting lost in the side of the machine. pretty good. Alright, with these guys now, I'm going to run these two passes. I'm going to run in the grain direction when I run the uh, cross belt. Put these guys in. Now 
And now the crossbow's go left to right, and that's the way I'm gonna run the the parts through. So I did a couple different types of uh, ways you can run this machine. These ones are all gonna run with the uh, wide belt sander and the cross belts. Um, and then every single one of these on the back edge has no dross. So I'm just gonna run them all with just the cross belts to soften up the edges and uh, send these back to you. Thank you very much.